Good Monday morning to you. If you're just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. The community in Oakland is mourning the death of 17 year old Cassidy Charette, who died tragically in a hayride accident this weekend. 22 others are also recovering from injuries as the investigation continues into Saturday's crash at Harvest Hill Farms in Mechanic Falls. Investigators think a mechanical problem could be to blame. Mesolonsky High School will be open today with grief counselors on hand. Maine State Police say 33 year old Paul Orchard has been arrested and charged with the murder and the death of his mother in law. 57 year old Paula Nuttall's body was found in her kitchen Saturday morning in a house they shared in the town of Peru. Orchard is expected to make his first court appearance this week. The Attorney General's office is investigating a deadly officer involved shooting in Aroostook County. State police say. Sergeant Joshua Haynes shot and killed 52 year old Alan Galati Sr. during a confrontation outside a home in Ludlow. Haynes is now on paid administrative leave, which is standard procedure after an officer involved shooting. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie returning to Maine for a third time this election season to help raise money for Governor Paul LePage. LePage's campaign says Christie will join the governor at a private lunchtime fundraiser tomorrow in Lewiston. This is his third visit to Maine. Uh, Christie is the chairman of the Republican Governors Association. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, health officials are trying to figure out how a hospital employee in Dallas contracted Ebola despite wearing protective gear. Officials say that she wore a gown, gloves, mask, and shield while caring for Thomas Duncan, the Liberian man who died of Ebola last Wednesday. Other hospital employees are now being monitored for other symptoms. Around the world this morning, the threat from ISIS militants is now growing. Turkey will allow U.S. and coalition forces to use its bases to carry out airstrikes against the Islamic State group progressing in Syria and in Iraq. One base is within 100 miles of the Syrian border. Meanwhile, intense fighting continues in Syria's border town of Kobani, where the United Nations is warning of mass casualties if the town falls. Former Olympic track star Oscar Pistorius could learn his punishment today for killing his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. The sentencing phase of his trial begins this morning in South Africa. Pistorius was found not guilty of murder, but was convicted of a less serious charge similar to manslaughter here in the United States. Finally, this morning, an internal memo from managers suggests Apple Pay will launch at Walgreens stores this Saturday. The new payment system allows iPhone 6 owners to make purchases using their phones.